Hello everyone, Clint here. I hope everybody is doing great today. Today I'm going to talk about my newish Apple Watch Ultra. And finally, I received today, well not today, I guess in the last couple days, the uh, case for this that I like to buy a lot for most of my watches, and that is the Spigen Rugged Armor. Now, this isn't the Rugged Armor Pro just a regular rugged armor. Uh, this one is a little different uh, than the last one I got from my Apple Watch or really for any of my uh, watches before. This looks like a single piece strap without the strap. So the previous Apple Watch, my Series 7 case is like this. This is uh, the rugged armor um, for the Series 7. And as you can see, it has the built-in straps like most of mine do, here's one for the um, Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. Again, built-in straps. This one does not look like it's got the built-in straps. It looks more like uh, maybe like the thin fit version. But let's take a look inside and see what it is. I have not opened it yet, so I'm not seeing what it looks like. Right here. Classic Spigen packaging right here. And oh yeah, there you go. So wow. Hmm. This is definitely different, uh, folks. Uh, the Rugged Armor Pro is gonna be like a full looks like a full case here. Uh, front, back, the whole nine yards, and it is strapless, and it looks like it's gonna have some um some spots for your bands hmm okay let's see uh let's just do a quick turnaround actually it's kind of hard to see without the watch in there but it's got the uh speaker grills lots of speaker grills on the uh, pro or the ultra and let's see we got uh, the action button got a mic hole here on this side we got a pretty big slot for the crown i hopefully they got this engineered well they did have a problem last time or last year with the crown sticking on the case that was a little bit of a bummer um had to actually turn mine in and get a different one because it was sticking so hopefully we got that figured out uh, and then of course we got the side button a little bit of um carbon fiber action going on here uh, i kind of like the way this looks i hear the that looks pretty good um yeah some uh, Spigen branding right there shock resist rugged armor all right let's uh see about getting this on the watch so we're gonna have to take the bands off here not a problem bands are really easy to take off the ultra i mean they were easy to take off the uh, series 7 but it's super easy with all that extra space right there uh, get to the button i mean it's way easy to get it off no problem all right so let's see what we're gonna do here i'm thinking crown in first we're gonna have to go from the top and let's see here let's see how this works let me get in frame here no whoa stand by okay well yeah so uh proved its ultraness there so be weary you might want to be over something soft uh before you stick this on i don't see any instructions or anything like that on how you're supposed to put this on so i'm just going to go with my gut here and usually it's button first and then then we're going to put this on here. I do, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow, that looks cool. <clears throat> Let's get this uh, cleaned up here a little bit. Wow, there you go. That, that looks, that looks pretty cool. I'm definitely liking the way that looks. Uh, all right, let's take a look. So here we are from the front. Got the pro there. Shock resist. Uh, here on the side, let's take a look at the side here, and they did, oh yeah, excellent job right there. That rotates beautifully. I really like the way they did that. That looks um, really, really good. Let's take a look at the back real quick. That little sensor fits in there pretty perfect. I like that. This is actually pretty good. I really like how that looks. 
Uh, even though we look at the back of our watches very much, but they got the button carrying on over here for the straps. I like that. Um, I like that a lot. I like how they um, carried over the uh, screw lugs from the actual back of the watch. That's pretty cool. Uh, also, if you, I don't know if you can see that, but it says 49 mm on there. So trying to bring over a little bit of style. I like it. I like it. Here on this side here, it looks like we're pretty good on the uh, buttons and everything we need there. And the speaker, mic holes line up pretty good. If you notice, there's a cutout for that one. I guess I missed out on the first try. Okay, let's go around here. Man, they, they uh, engineered that perfectly. I mean, look at that. That is well done. Very well done. Both sides, that is right up to it perfectly. And man, that looks good. Um, not real sure what kind of strap I'm gonna use. This, I'm just gonna throw on uh, a regular just band, uh, not band, but uh, silicone band. This is just an Apple silicone band. We'll just slide that in there. And as you can see, that went on there very easily. So there's no pinching or grabbing or anything. This looks really cool, guys. Uh, I really like the way this looks. Um, let's see here, put that on there. So you get kind of a black and white feel here. Let's slap it on the wrist and let's take a look at what it looks like on the wrist here. All right, there it is on the wrist. Pretty big, pretty big. Not too big though, I like it a lot. Um, wow, that looks good. That is a good looking case. Um, I still wouldn't mind having the built-in straps. I'm gonna have to try to find a different strap that works well with this. I have like a, let me try one of these two, I think on here, but take a look at that. That looks good. Nice and chunky. Looks good over here on this side. Looks good over here on this side. And let's check the buttons real quick. Action buttons working good can push the crown that works good looking good right there side button oh yeah side button is nice and clicky I really like that that one is pretty good yeah that looks good they did a good job We're here looks good from that side nice and Big, big old watch, man. I mean, Ultra is a big watch. I actually like the way this looks better than the way the watch looks without it, which is not unusual, I guess. I do like these cases, but um, yeah, that looks great. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. So let's see how hard it is to get off because I like to use multiple cases and watch bands and all that cool stuff. So I want to make sure it can get off easy. Let's see if these, this little buttons work pretty good. Yep, no problem there. These are lined right up nicely. Oh yeah, perfect. Very good. Let's see how, how hard it is to take off. We're gonna just go in reverse order here. Now you're wondering, this is the ultra, right? I mean, this is supposed to be the, the ultimate, ultimate tough apple watch and it is i mean if you've seen some of these videos of people beating this thing with uh, hammers and all kinds of stuff this sapphire crystal screen is extremely durable titanium also is extremely good metal very very hard but it does scratch um you can you can see on, on several people's watches that it has scratched i haven't done anything too major on this one yet uh, so it, it looks pretty good, but titanium does scratch. And so if you're doing some pretty extreme stuff, I mean, not even extreme stuff, if you work in like construction or, you know, you're working on cars or, you know, you're getting where you're hitting your watch a lot, you may want some more protection. So this is what, where speaking pops in and makes these uh, cases. But this one is definitely cool looking. So as you can tell, that was really easy to get off. So I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe it's a little practice. Um, I can get it on. Oh, yeah. So I can get it on easier than I did before. There we go. And then uh, take it right off. You just have to take your watch bands off, which is not a big problem. Yeah, that's pretty good. Easy breezy. Wow. Huh. Gonna have to try this out because what I really want to make sure, what, what I really want to try to find out is a lot of the times I like to wear cases when I'm at the gym because um, 
the button, uh, the action, not the action button, uh, but my Siri button there has a tendency to um, automatically trigger when I don't want it to. Uh, so I like to wear the cases a lot so I could block that Siri button. And after I said that, now I'm having all kinds of problems getting this back on here. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yep, there it goes. So I'm hoping that right there is going to keep that button from getting pressed either by my hand, a grip, or you know, strap, or whatever I got going on in my wrist. Um, I'm hoping that does that. Uh, it did it. It did it before pretty well in the previous version, and I think with that, it's gonna it's gonna work pretty good. Man, that's good looking. Look at it. I like it. Let's try one more quick strap here. Uh, like I said, this is a black strap, which is going to look cool, I think, with this watch, uh, with this case, since it's black. But I don't have a big, chunky watch band for this. But see, this is even a thinner, thinner band. I think you need a big, you know, kind of a 22 to 24 millimeter wide watch band. Because, I mean, that doesn't look bad at all. The black looks good in there. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. I like it. So, yeah, that's a pretty good watch face, too. Yeah, I like it. And again, super easy to take off. Real quick, guys. Here's the... I got this on Amazon. It is $19, basically. Right up there with, uh, I think, their previous costs. It does only come in black, so if you were wanting another color, that is not going to do it for you, but 19 bucks. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, thanks for staying to the end, and I will see you on the next one.